Hey beautiful people, Onye Kachin and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about five ways to spend more time with God. If you would like to hear more, please do stick around as I get into it. Five ways to spend more time with God. Number one is to build a routine. Wake up at least 30 minutes or an hour or however many minutes before other people wake up in the house. For me, I know if I don't wake up at a certain time, I usually wake up at 5 a.m. And then I start work, doing my routine. I have to pray. I have to do what I got to do. Because by 7 o'clock, my kids are up. Regardless. 7 o'clock is the latest. They are up. So I build a routine on what I need to do, when I need to do it. And I have to spend time with God. And also when I do wake up, I do try to involve my kids. We do morning prayer. That's a good activity to start in your home morning prayers we pray and we sing and we then pick out a name in a box and then we pray for whoever that we picked out so that's what we do that's another way you can spend more time with god another way is to listen to worship music for me i love worship i sing a lot so worship music draws me so much closer to god i love it i love it i love it i love it i sing worship all day even as you're driving i i as i'm driving i play worship music and it gives you time to meditate on the word of god because then you could pray and you be, i begin to think and i begin to think and understand how great god has been to my life so give it give that a, a try listen to worship music and get in the spirit and you're gonna see the difference when you listen to worship music use your driving time wisely don't just play um things that are not going to spiritually move you so to spend more time with god sometimes i drive to work is an hour and a half away so i try to listen to preachers i try to listen to gospel music most likely it's preaching that i listen to so all these things help you to get closer to god you know when you you're listening to those things you start to pray you start to thank god you start to understand you honestly in a day when you spend time with god you will see that it's even a privilege to be awake. It's a privilege to see the next day. It's a privilege to be in, a, in the car that you were driving. It's a privilege to be able to talk. So when you spend more time with God, you're going to understand the great things that God is doing in your life. Do not take those for granted because a lot of people out there are begging and wishing for the life that you have. When you spend more time with God, you're appreciating God. You're telling God, Jesus, thank you for the time. Jesus, I thank you. I worship your name. I give you the praise. I give you the glory because you are God. There's no, just you. Oh, I'm about to get into it. These are the things that you need to do. Do not waste your time pray daily ask god that tell god that you want to be drawn to him you want you want to to take time to speak to him you want to take time to listen to him because it's not always speaking sometimes we have to take time to listen to god so ask god for for to, for help so that you can be able to pray more to him ask god for less distraction because whatever we ask for we shall receive it so ask God and tell God, please, Lord, I need more time because I'm longing for you. I want to be closer to you. If the, the relationship you want to have with God, ask God. And trust me, God is going to make a way. Whatever you seek, you are going to find. So tell God, Lord, I really want this and that. I want to be closer to you. I want to make more time to spend time with you. And trust me, that time is going to come because you're going to see the value and the importance that it is when you spend and the change that will happen to your life when you spend more time with God. Cut out the distraction. It could be social media. It could be your children. Put them to sleep and pray. It could be anything that is going to distract you. Cut it out. Your priority should always be with God. Cut it out. Whatever distraction is. Me, when my kids sleep, I have my time too. Social media. We we could be on social media for so many hours in a day that we think that it might be 15 minutes. When you check your social media time, how long you've been on there, it is hours. If we switch it and spend that much time with God, do you know how much change that would take place in our life? Do you know how improved of, of, of a Christian that we'll be? Do you know how much closer that we'll be to God? You know, it's it's crazy how much time, how, how much, it's crazy the amount of distraction that is, is taking place in this world. There's so many things distracting us from being closer to God. And those are the plans and the plots of the devil to keep us away. So the point of this video is just to remind you that you must always draw close to God. 
I don't care what you're, what, what is trying to distract you, cut it off. If anything is causing you to sin, cut it off. I don't care who it is. I don't care what it is. You need to cut it off. That helps with your growth because your priority and your main aim on this earth is to serve God. And remember that you are the Bible that most unbelievers see. So live accordingly so that they will see God through you. I love you all and please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And definitely do not forget to spend more time with God. I love you all. Bye and thanks for watching. Till next time.